I don't know, like, I've, I've always been like a big dreamer, but it never used to be like a reality, reality for us. Especially in South Africa, like there's not a lot of people that make it out. Um, but yeah, before then, like, oh, I was grinding. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> The struggle was real. Like I was making videos, posting on Instagram, TikTok, musically at the time, and DMing every celebrity that anyone, <laughs> anyone that had a blue tick, I was DMing, yeah. <laughs> and never got a response. But I mean, look where I am today. It's Trust. moving. Amen. It's moving. It's moving. God. So. I think. The last time I remember being like super, 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 super proud is when, um, just when I released the video of Getting Late because I just knew we didn't really have much to work with but we came out with something so amazing. And I feel like I use that as a lesson all the time. I mean, it took a while for me to perfect it, but I mean, I've always wanted to make music that's a fusion between African music and Western, like pop and R&B, because I grew up with that being my influence. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just the music from Africa, it's going crazy, which I'm excited about. Yeah. And yeah, I just managed to make it more Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. You Initially, I had like labels weren't on my mind. Like it wasn't something that I thought was realistic. So I never thought I could work towards it. So I mean like TikTok, I just used to make videos for fun because that's what I do. And then like, as my following started growing, I realized, hold on, I can use this. And yeah, like I started posting the song, people started doing challenges and I mean, my music reached people I never thought it would. And when I dropped the video for Getting Late, all the labels literally reached out. There was a whole bidding war. Like, it was crazy. Always, when I was younger, I always wanted to see, like, a pop star from South Africa. Even though I felt, I always felt like this was going to happen for me. I always felt like it was my calling. But there was all, there was obviously, like, some level of doubt because I never had that person that opened that door you know to see someone from the continent be on that level but i try not to think about that too much because that will make me go nuts you um so i'm just really just trying to make good music that i love listening to that my friends and family love listening to you know and i believe in what i make so i trust that whatever happens is meant to happen